Welcome back to another SCP reading, dear researcher. Today we'll be reading SCP-243, Animation. Now without further ado, item number SCP-243, level 2 restricted, containment class safe, disruption class vlam, risk class caution. Special containment procedures. SCP-243 is to be secured in the geometric center of a standard containment cell, no less than 16 meters by 16 meters by 16 meters. The cell is to be connected to an adjacent room of similar size and composition by one standard door. All exits to the cell are to be kept locked and guarded against unauthorized access. No eligible group, more than four identical inanimate objects, see below, is permitted into the containment cell, nor any item capable of producing such a group, except as necessary for testing. Personnel entering the cell are subject to search and seizure of unauthorized multiples. Objects animated by SCP-243 are to be removed to the adjacent room for study, Undesirable animated items are to be disposed of promptly, by incineration if appropriate, in the event that SCP-243 is applied to other SCP objects or to other items of similar value. The flock is to be separated and held in standard safe or Euclid class inanimate item lockers until the effects wear off. Following incident 243-02, Bringing illegible groups of weapons, easily weaponized objects, or dry cell batteries into SCP-243's containment is strictly forbidden. Description SCP-243 is a mass of small dry cell batteries, all fused at their negative terminals into an ellipsoid approximately 30 cm long by 10 cm diameter. The arrangement is semi-fluid, the batteries may be arranged by applying gentle pressure, though it is far more difficult to remove them from the central cylinder. SCP-243's unusual properties manifest when an illegible group of objects is brought into its active zone, an area of indeterminate shape extending no more than 7.3 meters or less than 2.5 meters from the center of the item. The active zone's precise extent and shape change from minute to minute. An illegible group consists of five or more identical or nearly identical inanimate objects. Nearly identical items are those that a casual observer cannot easily distinguish based on attributes other than overall color. Illegible group members animate when brought into the active zone, displaying unusual flexibility and powers of levitation and locomotion. They acquire a few basic instincts, including self-preservation and variously complex flocking behavior. Object flocks range from simple separation alignment cohesion groups, like flocks of birds or shoals of fish, to aggregates involving role specialization and formation of discrete subunits. Animated objects also, secondarily to flocking, tend to behave in ways thematically appropriate to an object of their type. Umbrellas form large shades. Chairs make themselves available as seating. Knives seek out objects to cut, etc. An item separated from the flock wanders aimlessly in search for other flock members. Approximately four hours after separation, the item goes dormant and loses all apparent unusual properties. At this point, reuniting it with its group renders it animate again. Twenty-five minutes after going dormant, it becomes permanently inanimate, losing all unusual properties and reverting to a, a normal object of its type. Whether intact or missing members, a flock deanimates approximately 24, give or take 2 hours, after initial exposure to SCP-243. Flocks displaying complex shoal behavior frequently fuse upon deanimation into aggregates representative of that behavior. Addendum. SCP-243 came to the Foundation's attention following a series of suspicious incidents involving 
Redacted Animation Studios. The unusual fluid natural motion depicted in the cartoons produced would not ordinarily have attracted attention, but data expunged. Every desk lamp in the facility, data expunged. The effect wore off in the usual 24 hours. Class amnestics were administered to the animators involved and their families, all of whom remained under surveillance. Future redacted productions are to be monitored carefully for evidence of further interference. Note. Compare the characters in redacted film knick-knack to SCP-1507. Further interference? Researcher Killian. And that's where this SCP reading ends. Thank you very much for coming, dear researchers. It has been an honor reading for you. Now I'm going to go animate some balls of yarn, if any of you want to join me.